Hi everyone, Ryan Lestrange here with today's Monday Word. And my Monday Word is stay aligned and properly defined. I've been studying a lot as I'm writing currently about the subject of spiritual attacks. And you know, a spiritual attack is really a series of events coordinated in the demonic realm to shipwreck faith, abort destiny, and overthrow promises. And so one of the issues that arises under a spiritual attack is the enemy puts all this pressure, he puts all these lies, all these whispers, all this accusation against you to knock you out of alignment with the purpose of God. You know, Psalms 139, 13 and 14, one of my favorite scriptures, it says, you brought my inner parts into being you wove me in my mother's womb. I will praise you for you made me with fear and wonder. Marvelous are your works and you know me completely. You know, we were woven in our mother's womb with an intent, with a purpose. And part of the journey of life as a child of God is aligning ourselves with the purpose of God, listening to that still small voice, hearing that inner whisper and moving progressively in destiny. Now, destiny doesn't always just happen in one step. There are many progressive steps. Sometimes we begin to be faithful in this little thing and then God promotes us. And then we learn a lesson here and then God sends us here. And then we learn here and then God increases us. That's why Psalms 37, 23 says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delighteth his, in his way. I believe when Paul was writing to Timothy, and saying, Timothy, stir up the gift that's in you. Timothy was under siege. He was under assault by a spiritual attack. And what was the purpose? To get Timothy out of alignment. You see, our steps are ordered with the Lord. Each step has been defined by God. He has defined who we are and who we are called to be. He has defined what purpose we are called to fulfill on planet Earth. And spiritual attacks come to break that definition. Under an attack, the enemy is trying to get us to give up that holy definition of who we are called to be, that set apart, separated one, uh, made holy for the purposes and intents of the Father. And so I just want to encourage you, stay aligned, get out those prophetic words, remind yourself of what the Lord has spoken, stir yourself up in prayer, stir yourself up in worship, make war with the prophecies and stay defined. Don't let yourself be redefined. You know, in my journey in ministry, a lot of times when I've been under a spiritual attack, the, the critic and the voice of the enemy would try to hurl things in my direction to redefine me, to get me outside of my purpose. Well, here's what the devil understands. If he gets me outside of my purpose, he gets me outside of my power because my power is connected to my purpose and my passion is connected to my purpose. So he wants to cut off the passion. People in an attack often lose their sense of passion and he wants to cut off the power that's super on my natural. So we've got to fight to stay aligned and stay properly defined. We don't want to be redefined by the attack we're going through. We don't want to be redefined by the accusation, but we want to stay aligned and defined. Let me pray for you. Father, I thank you for my friends today, and I agree right now for the breaking of every spiritual attack. And Lord, I stir the purposes of you on their lives. I stir up the words that you've deposited in them. I stir up the destiny you've given them. And I thank you for proper alignment and proper definement in the name of Jesus. I bless my friends and I call them strong in you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Have a great week.